The first note I'm warning for this month is from 8 July to 11 July 2021 for a range of 380 km, which is speculated to be the first test of the XR SAM air defense system, or the third test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle. The second note I'm warning for this month is for a range of 756 km from 12 July to 14 July 2021 that is expected to be the BrahMos extended range missile, or the 750 km range new version of the nuclear-capable Shoria missile. India has also issued a fresh note I'm warning for a range of 322 km for the period between 15 to 17 July 2021, which is speculated to be the maiden test of the 300 km range Rudram 2 anti-radiation missile. The chairman and managing director of Mazagin Dock Shipbuilder has said that given the current geopolitical situation and the threat perception in the Indian Ocean region and the South China Sea, the 43,000 crore rupees project 75I for building six conventional submarines could be awarded to both the Indian shipyards instead of only one shipyard, and the request for proposal for the construction of the project 75I submarines will be issued this month and there will be about four months time for bid submission in partnership with foreign original equipment manufacturers. He also said that if the government looks at the possibility of having parallel production, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilder and Larsen and Tubro can join forces, and there could be a cross-transfer of technology to quickly build the submarines. He also said that if the production is undertaken by one shipyard, the first submarine will be delivered after eight years of signing the contract and the delivery of the remaining submarines will be done at an interval of 12 to 15 months, and if the order is split between the two Indian shipyards, it would substantially cut down the delivery period. The Ministry of Defence has signed a 499 crore rupees contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited for supplying around 250 Akash missiles to the Indian Air Force. It is speculated that the order is for the new Akash-1S missile, that is fitted with an indigenous seeker and has a range of 30 km against enemy fighters helicopters missiles and drones. The 70 km range Akash new generation missile is already under development trials, and after few more tests to validate its guidance system seeker and warhead, it will enter user trials in 2022. The DRDO will start the development tests of an improved version of the 100 km range smart anti-air field weapon in early 2022, that will be equipped with an imaging infrared seeker with all weather day and night capability as well as automatic target acquisition algorithm, to target both static and moving targets. The Defence Acquisition Council had already approved the procurement of the smart anti-air field weapon for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy worth 970 crore rupees in September 2020, and during an interview in February this year, the DRDO chief had said that the SAW is headed towards induction in 2021, and Hindustan Aeronautics will be the production agency for the SAW. During his visit to Moscow, the Indian Foreign Minister made a brief stopover in Iran, and he held a meeting with his Iranian counterpart and also met Iran's new president. Speaking at an international institute in Moscow, he said that there is no doubt that the relations between India and Russia have been among the steadiest of the major relationships in the world. The annual India-Russia summit between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Prime Minister Modi is slated for later this year, while a meeting of the Intergovernmental Commission on Military Technical Cooperation will be held in Moscow in November.